I'm Jonathan Petromala. Coming up, we're going to show you a Bay Area company that has stepped up for some soldiers overseas. Watching. Last month, some Bay Area soldiers on the battlefield said they were being taken advantage of here on the home front. But after a Bay News 9 story, a local company stepped up to make it right for the soldiers. Bay News 9's Jonathan Petromala has your update. The last time soldiers of D Company 1st 111th Aviation Support out of Brooksville were on Bay News 9, Specialist Michael Hagerty was on the phone from Kuwait talking about a t-shirt deal gone bad. We don't ask for much. We're just getting t-shirts made. Some of you know, are our company on there, where we've been, what we've done, and, you know, when we get back home, just kind of show it off a little bit. Hagerty and the rest of his company felt the t-shirts they ordered to remember their mission in Iraq and Kuwait weren't what they ordered. Bay News 9 later learned the company they had ordered from had gone out of business. The soldiers were stuck with what they had. But Janet Kilgore was watching Bay News 9 when the story aired last month. The owner of her own t-shirt company in Riverview, Kilgore, contacted Bay News 9, who in turn put her in touch with the soldiers. Just a few short weeks later, Kilgore is printing 70 replacement shirts, free of charge. I just felt bad. I just really felt bad and wanted to make it right, not only for our industry and what we do, but to really make it right for the service personnel. The biggest complaints the soldiers had with the last shirts was that the screen printing was faded. There were black lines, so Distinctive Impressions decided to use digital garment printing. What that gives you is higher detail and better quality. In total, Distinctive Impressions is donating about $500 worth of shirts to soldiers half a world away. To Kilgore, that cost is cheap. I'd much rather send t-shirts than flowers. The shirts will be ready for the soldiers when they return safely later this month. In Riverview, Jonathan Petromala, Bay News 9. The soldiers who were part of the company in Iraq and Kuwait said they were surprised but grateful for what Distinctive Impressions is doing for them. The company is scheduled to return September 16th. If you'd like, you can catch the story again by going to Bay News 9 On Demand. That's channel 342. Once you're there, select the news.